and part two. Sonic, there's a nice store in this town. It might help you find a way to cross the sea. You don't say, Tails, because that's actually where I need to go. Okay, I think we have to talk to this guy, or it might be... Yeah, it's another guy we need to talk to. We actually might have to... We might have to buy the light chip first. No, wait, he's over here. It's the guys with the blue exclamation marks over their heads. I think. Well, this is probably the guy we need to talk to. Okay, I'm just going to skim these. Okay, he's talking about shoes, and there's a yes or no, so we picked the right guy. This is really easy to do. I get a nice ranking light every time. Oh yeah, this was the first Sonic game to have S ranks in it. I I think it was. It's the earliest one that comes to mind. Okay, the mind of a shoemaker. What did I tell you in the last part? It takes two very long loading screens to do this. I need a second loading screen. So uh, it's halfway through loading. Okay, let's do this. You just have to get through all these things and you've done it. Done. I don't think I've ever got less than an S rank on that. Oh, the word money's in there. Oh god, he doesn't, doesn't want any. I wasn't prepared to actually give away money anyway. And this game has a really nice little guitar playing that joined the results. Okay, got the best rank I could. And now we've got a thousand wins. We only need a hundred to buy the light chip. Yeah, we get the shoes for free, but we have to buy the light chip. And after we buy the light chip, we'll be able to go to our first level. And here's something I probably should have showed you in the first part. If you just tap the X or... Yeah, just tap the X button and Sonic could do this. Why does he even have that? It's completely useless. Except there is a glitch you can, you can do with it if you do it on top of a metal crate. So that, that's probably the only thing that makes it not useless. Okay, let's buy the light chip. And now we can go across the sea. When you get close to a trail of rings, press the X button to do a light dash. You better be right about this, Tails. And he was right. And it is really easy to die though, because you don't go to, to the end of the of the rings. Okay, let's go to our first level. Wave Ocean. And there are so many things wrong with this level. Actually, there are so many things wrong with the entire game, but mostly in this level. And in one part of the level, a rail chases Sonic just like it did in Sonic the Adventure. And I think that just ruins the whole Sonic Adventure Emerald Coast level. 
Okay, we missed that checkpoint there. Look at this. He's standing upside down. And this was before Super Mario Galaxy, so Sonic did it first. Let's go this way. No, wrong way. I wanted to show you something. Drop down, Sonic. I wanted to go the other way to show you guys something. Here's another thing wrong with this level. Sonic the Hedgehog has acquired the powers of Spider-Man. He can walk on walls, like Spider-Man can. Okay, just jump when you land on when Sonic lands on something like that and uh, he'll jump off. And here's another thing that's wrong about this level. This. He's supposed to go straight onto the other way over there. So he'll just turn to the right and he does it. This only works half the time, let's hope it works. Okay. It worked. If you don't get that, you'll have to go all the way around. And it's just really annoying. And there's an invisible wall here, so Sonic can't get through. Well, he actually can. If you jump on here, Sonic can jump over the wall. And here's probably the worst thing about this game. Let's, uh, why don't we go into the water and see how long it takes for Sonic to die. And he's not dying. Why is he dying? Hold on, let's uh, let's go back down here. And he still hasn't died. Huh. Anyway, Sonic dies if you go about some um, shin deep in water. I don't know what Sega was thinking there. What, what were they thinking here? He can't even get up. Thank you, Sonic, for getting up there. Okay, let's see if he does it here. No, he doesn't. Huh. The one time I, doesn't, I don't want him to die in this game, and, well, the one time I actually do want him to die in this game, and he doesn't. Okay, now I'm playing as Tails, and there's not in his mech, which is like a Sonic Adventure 2. He's just running around and stuff like he did in Sonic Adventure 1. Wait, well, I was uh, actually impressed by Sega when I got up to this part of the game, until I tried to attack. What the hell is that? I'm trying to just dance around like it did in Sonic Adventure 1. And, look how sharp his turns are when he's flying. You can't fly like this. And it, it is impossible to, to aim with, the, with this attack. You can either hold it down and get shot, or you can fly and attack. So you can either aim and you'll most likely get shot, or you can just try your luck. Yeah. 
Okay, what you're supposed to do is hit that switch. But I'm going to do something else. Oh, uh, you, you were supposed to get up there, Tails. Okay, you can get Tails up here, and this is where the switch is on hard mode. But you don't actually have to press that switch to get to the next part of the level, you can just fly over here. Okay, what, what happens if you do press the switch is the gate closes and the whale can't get out. Well, it should should actually be able to get out because there's nothing around it. But uh, that, that's what you're supposed to do, but you could, can just do that. And now we're playing as Sonic again. This is the... I think there are only about two or three parts of the game where you can actually do this. That, it's a bit hard. It's a bit hard to... Um, to do this successfully without dying, except on this level. But I, well, I, I like it. I think these are called map speed areas, but um, Sonic Unleashed did a much better job of showing Sonic speed than this game did. I usually take the mouse on the left here, and to do that, you've got to turn all the way to the left. Okay. I don't recommend using the light speed dash here because every time I use it, I get hit by a spike ball, one to one, or something. And there's about 50 50, about 50 50 chance of you actually surviving this at the end. Sometimes if you if you run on that on a different angle, he'll just fall off right at the end. And if you run at a different angle, then he won't hit those walls there. He'll just go straight off that jump panel thing and hit the goal ring. That was incredible. Okay, got some of the rest. Don't use get an S on that level. Or any level actually, just that ring one you saw earlier. 